Good morning, this is Parker Bregabredi of APAC Assistance Asia Pacific team. I'm discussing main issues in East Asia Pacific. Today it's 19th of February. Firstly, in Indonesia, authorities will temporarily close Pongkuran for Chinatown Festival in West Jakarta today and tomorrow. That's 19th and 20th of February in the Chinatown area of West Jakarta. West Jakarta Transport Agency said to avoid traffic jams because of the closure, they will divert the traffic to other streets. Traffic from Tokotika to Pongkoran will be diverted to Pintu, Kesil and Asenka. However, traffic from Pongkoran to Tokotika, uh, Serbirang and Pintu, Kesil will remain open. The road closures are likely to increase the traffic and cause delays in supply chain operations of the businesses in the area. Clients are advised to avoid the roads around the Chinatown area in Jakarta until Wednesday. Uh, consider alternate routes to avoid closed roads. In the Philippines, two people were killed and one person was injured in a drive-by shooting in Mandalayangong City yesterday. They were sh shot by unidentified assailants on motorbikes near Reliance Street in Mandalayong City, east of Manila. The shooting comes despite the gun ban in place before the midterm elections and police have intensified security measures in metropolitan area of Mani Manila for the midterm elections. Gun violence and illegal weapons trafficking in the Philippines are a major concern for law enforcement agencies. Clients are advised to avoid any political events before the elections that employ extreme caution while going out at night in Manila or other major cities in the Philippines. In Thailand, Office of the Election Commission of Thailand has warned that posting text, sharing or commenting on messages that defame political candidates violate the, the Computer Crime Act. Major social media platforms have agreed to remove illegal and fake content from their platforms in two days by using artificial intelligence. Candidates and supporters can use the online platforms and pay for online advertising, but if the payment exceeds 10,000 baht or 320 US dollars, they need to declare the expense after the elections. Those who post rude or violent remarks will be, can be jailed up to six months with a fine of 10,000 baht or 320 US dollars as it breaks section 70 and 159 of the ECT law or the election commission law. Clients are advised to avoid all political events and posts online, refrain from engaging with any political content on the social media platforms. Non-members can check us out at www apacassistance.com where you can purchase our East Asia Pacific or South Asia risk management memberships or buy our assistance on a pay for view basis or email us at info at apacassistance.com.